So this is a lesson from my free beginner method book. There's a link for that free PDF underneath the video. Um, there's no sign up or anything, so you can just go grab the PDF book and follow along. This is for absolute beginners. And today we're going over um, the first left hand note of A. And we'll also go over the sight reading page, the moderato piece, and uh, the duet, the fairy tale. But we'll just be doing the lesson on the fairy tale because there's another video for the duet play along. So before you do this page, of course, make sure you've done the previous pages. So you've seen the, you've been following the lessons on the website that include additional lessons that aren't on YouTube, right? Um, so you've gone over the posture page, how to sit, and you've gone over the right hand position, how to hold your right hand. You've played the previous open string pieces with your right hand, so you kind of have an idea of how to read music and, and use your fingers in this hand. And then you've also watched the video on left hand technique, so you know how to hold the left hand on the guitar. I'll go over a couple of tips today as well, but make sure you've seen all of those previous videos. So we're only learning one new note today, which is A, because we've already covered G, B, and E. So we're only covering one new note. So as you know, G is the third string open. So that's third string, one, two, three. This is the high string because it's high in pitch. So that's the open G, that's the third string open. And then A is located with your second finger, so one, two, three, four. This is your second finger on the third string, second fret. So first fret, second fret. So third string, second fret, second finger. You should probably just play a few G's and A's. Go back and forth for a little while. Make sure you're comfortable with that. Your thumb should be behind your second finger approximately. Shouldn't be poking up here. Shouldn't be visible. Push it down. And it should be around the middle of the neck. Just like that, it's very comfortable. Make sure you've watched the previous lesson though on left hand technique. Make sure you're playing on your fingertip, not the pad of your finger, but on the tip of your finger that your fingers curved at each joint. Don't overextend the wrist, keep that relatively straight. So you just raise this hand up, the wrist is relatively straight, your fingers curved on your fingertip at the right place, and that you're close to the fret. This is no good, this is no good, right up next to the fret. You should almost be able to feel the fret on the side of your finger. If you're not close to the fret, it might buzz. But if you're close to the fret, it won't buzz because that buzzing is caused by the string bouncing up and down on the metal fret. So you want to be really close. That way, the closer you are to the fret, the less pressure you have to use to push the string down. So you can push very lightly, like very, very lightly, and it won't buzz as long as you're on your fingertip, your fingers curved, and you're close to the fret. Next thing, sight reading and review. Sight reading is when you're reading music and you haven't like memorized the piece or you haven't memorized it, you're, you're actually practicing reading. It'd be like picking up a new book and reading a new book. You know when kids learn to read books, they pretty much memorize the book and they know exactly what all the words say even though they might not be able to read very well. Well, this would be like opening a new book in, where the kids have to like phonetically sound out each word. You're actually practicing reading. So it's not pieces. And as you get better, you'll want to practice sight reading all the time so that you're you're, you're actually actively practicing reading. So the first one is ascending note review. G, A, B, E. So it's a, ascending in pitch, right? I know we're, go, we're playing down towards the ground, but in music, we're talking about the staff and the notes on the staff, which are going up because the pitch is going up. And just, you might want to say your fingering out loud as you go to, like, M, I, M, I, M, I, M, I. We'll count the beat. This one's in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you 
you can practice all of these exercises in, in those various different ways. Number two, descending note review. rhythm review on open strings. So this is just mixing it up with a few different rhythms, quarter notes and half notes, and a whole note at the very end. One, two, three, four. 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 Number four, rhythm review with all notes. One, two, three, four. 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 I didn't write any um, fingering for that one, so do your best to just alternate. You should try to do it without it written below for you every once in a while. So you learn the skill, but don't worry too much about it. Just try it out. Um, you might want to like name all these notes a lot before you do it, right? A, G, A, B, B, E, 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 E. Um, or count out loud. Like you, you want to try all the different things because you're practicing reading. Okay, let's go to the first solo piece using that note A that we just learned. So a couple of things for the moderato. Um, the term moderato just indicates a moderato tempo. So you'll probably end up playing hundreds of pieces called moderato. It's a tempo indication of like a moderate speed. Um, so not too slow, not too fast. Um, say the no na note names out loud as you play. Uh, that's always a good idea. You could also try saying your fingering out loud as you play. You could also try counting out loud as you play. Lots of different um, ways to go through these pieces. And the more that you do each way, the more um, you'll be building skills, right? For this piece, um, anchor your thumb onto the bass note. So just rest it on the sixth string. That way you can just kind of secure your hand. Your hand won't be floating around. You'll just have it very secure there. So I'm going to count out loud for this, but you'll also want to practice saying the note names out loud as you play. So if you're saying the note names, it'd be A, 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 G, 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 A, 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 G, G. Um, but for today, I, I think I'll count out loud just to make sure your rhythm is correct. So I'll count one bar for nothing. So that's one, two, three, four, and then we start on one. One, two, three, four. 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 pieces from now we'll start talking more about phrasing and things like that and legato but for now just do your best to alternate your fingers do the exercises with naming the notes or counting out loud and try to make sure that you're smoothly progressing from one note to the next with sound right not this so you're not trying to like put your finger back on the string too soon or anything you're just calmly 
letting the notes ring as long as possible. We'll be talking more about that when we talk about legato and staccato in the upcoming pages. But for now, um, just enjoy that piece. So as I said, there's a separate lesson for um, the, a fairy tale. There's, it's a play-along duet video, so you can check that out. Um, I performed the piece with a friend, but I also uh, give you the opportunity to play along with the teacher part. Um, but I think what we'll do today is we'll just um, play through the piece so that you uh, know how to practice it on your own before attempting that play-along video, for which there'll be many play-along videos. So you're playing this top staff, and this piece is in 3-4 time signature, meaning it, there's three beats per bar. That top number of the time signature tells you how many beats per bar. So we'll be counting one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're going through the whole piece with a count of three. So I'll give you one bar for nothing. But remember, I'm going to count one, two, three, one. And you want to start on that one. One, two, three, one. some interaction with the teacher part, but you'll see that in the duet play along. 